The Atlantic Ocean is the second largest ocean basin on Earth. It's a key component of the Earth system and a home to a large biodiversity. Every liter of water contains between 10 and 100 billion microscopic organisms, comprising the ocean microbiome. Classically known as plankton, the microbiome is a key part in the food web, playing a fundamental role in the distribution of energy and matter through the system. The Atlantic Ocean provides a number of ecosystem services and is an essential component of the climate system. Up to now, most of the Atlantic Ocean remains unexplored, which means that there's still a lot of unknowns. In the context of rapid population growth and climate change, one of the greatest challenges of our time is to identify and preserve ecosystem services and also to maintain good environmental status. Changes we observe in temperatures and ocean circulation, overfishing or the amount of chemicals in the water, whether these are harmful or essential, these are all stresses that will have an impact on marine ecosystems and therefore on their ability to provide key services. Atlantico is a research and innovation project which is funded under the Horizon 2020 program. It brings together 36 partners from across 13 countries, from Europe, Brazil and South Africa, as well as many collaborators from around the Atlantic Basin. The ambition of Atlantico is to develop a better understanding and better management of the Atlantic Ocean so that it can reliably deliver its services. And throughout the project, we will engage with a whole range of stakeholders, from citizens to scientists and actors from the policy and industry sectors, so that we are able to increase the awareness, to develop capacity, to promote a responsible behaviour, but also to stimulate blue growth. Atlantico is organized around three pillars of research, which are plastics and the plastosphere, seascape and connectivity, and microbiomes. One of the biggest environmental challenges that we are facing today is the growing amount of plastic in our ocean. When plastic enters the ocean, it quickly fragments into microplastics and nanoplastics. We can only account for about 1% of the total amount of plastic litter in the ocean that is 99% is missing. And this amount of plastic in the ocean actually represents 0.1% of the total global plankton biomass. Atlantico will map the plastic distribution in the Atlantic Basin, identify or infer the putative sources, analyze the interaction between plastics and its microbiome or plastosphere, and quantify the transfer of plastic up the pelagic food web and down toward the deeper ocean depths and the seafloor. The seascape is the mapping of the pathways and the time scales with which material like nutrients are transported by ocean currents between different regions. Now up to date, this seascape has been insufficiently characterized for the Atlantic Ocean. There are many knowledge gaps about how ocean currents exactly transport material from one region to the other region. And in particular, something like it, even at the surface, in two dimensions, we don't know what this connectivity is. And that has big problems for operationability of ecosystem services. What is also going to happen is that the seascape might change in a changing climate, for example, because ocean circulation is changing. And what's more is that due to climate change, ocean circulation is going to rearrange. And what that means to seascape is exactly what we want to find out. With Atlantico, we are embarking on the next great exploration of the seas, discovering the function of the ocean microbiome. Depending on where you cast your bucket, a typical liter of seawater may contain billions of microorganisms, including viruses and plankton. This multitude which makes up the ocean microbiome, has received far less attention compared to charismatic species. This is despite the essential role played by microbiomes in nourishing ecosystems, producing oxygen, and transporting carbon to the deep ocean. The microbiome is highly sensitive to temperature change, ocean acidification, and pollution. 
Microbes are the most common organisms on the planet, but we know surprisingly little about them and their potential climate change induced feedbacks. There are several unanswered questions, including where they live, what they can do, what they do actually do. Yet measurements of their quantity and feeding and the surrounding environment remain one of the grand challenges for humanity. Atlanteco will use data from existing sources and generate new observations thanks to an extensive program with six flagship expeditions, collaborations with third-party cruises, and the involvement of marine stations around the Atlantic in initiatives such as the Ocean Sampling Day.